Oh, okay. I see. Cool. Cool. So my camera weighs a pound? Okay. I only weigh myself once a week. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Spider to my right, right now. It's just a tiny one. Like, I could probably squish it between my fingers. You know, I don't really like killing bugs. But you're in my house. Why do you decide to sit right there? Why? Now oh, this camera's good, guys. <laughs> Okay, a little close there. Okay, much better. It's time to go do some food shopping. I food shop like randomly. Like I don't know when I really food shop. I just food shop when I need food shop, you know? Whether it's on a weekend, during weekday. People have like specific food shopping days. So I am about to go food shopping. I'm just waiting for a video to um, edit. Safe, not because videos can't edit themselves. I did not click on you. Did not click on you. All right, let's go do some grocery shopping. Mwah. Hey guys, so I am shopping right now and I'm just gonna be picking up a couple of things and I just wanted to show you so that you can really see what I'm purchasing. I'm gonna purchase a couple of snacks, lots of fruit. I'm like really not a vegetable person and I hate to say that because vegetables are good for you and you need to eat them. But usually the only vegetables I eat are very few and it's always the same type of vegetable. I'm also going to pick up a lot of fish. You're gonna see me get a lot of protein in this video. Everything that I am purchasing is either organic, fresh, or has a lot of protein in it. Even my snacks, I like to make sure that whatever snacks I'm purchasing have protein in them. Um, most of my food, I like to take a look at the back of the container of everything and make sure that I can try to fit it into my diet. So with the way that I eat by eating by my macros, it's a little difficult, but it's doable. So as I'm going through all the aisles and all the food, I like to take a look at all this special stuff. I get stuff that I always buy all the time, but I'm always making sure I look at the nutrition facts of everything. Candy, candy. Oh my god, what are you? I usually try to make sure that my fat is kind of low, that carbs are, you know, not crazy, crazy high, and that my protein is present in almost everything that I eat. Oh my god, look at the sky. like it's about to downpour any second so we are gonna try our best to beat the rain and then I got a half hour before I gotta go to work I'm very bad with um, time management and my time management my time management is shit guys What's up everybody? We're gonna film a little bit today. 
because I'm gonna meal prep. I'm gonna cook some breakfast and clean. So um, let's get the day started, guys, before I go insane, because I need to put food in my body. We are currently cooking up some waffles right now. These are the Nature's Promise Organic Blueberry Waffles. And then we got some center cut bacon cooking in hair. So I stocked the crap out of my fridge and I need to meal prep. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I usually take like two trips to go food shopping to get it to look like this. Well, that side is, you know, whatevs. And the freezer is completely stocked too, and the pantry is somewhat there. Try my best not to buy snacks, but I need them for work because I've been like basically fainting at work because I don't eat. So, we're gonna cook some stuff up today, and um, I kinda wanna show you guys my um, little meal prep that I'm gonna do. So, yeah, let's do it. Bacon, 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 bacon. Before I really meal prep today, let's talk a little bit about my macros. My macros are much different from the last video I filmed on my macros. Right now, my macros are at 165 carbs, 58 grams of fat, and 145 grams of protein. So I'm going to be meal prepping kind of like around that. Before, when I was a little bit lower, it usually was like three meals a day. Um, then it jumped up to like three meals a day and a snack. And now it's at three meals a day, a shake and a snack. So um, it's still, a, it's a little bit easier reaching my protein now, but it's still difficult because I'm like a carb fiend and I like to eat what I want. Um, so I'll have like the days where, oh, I reach my protein really easy or I'll have the days where I'm like way over carbs and, um, or like just too high and I gotta like lower it as the day goes. But we're gonna be meal prepping around that, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's go over my breakfast today. We have way too many drinks, which I didn't even realize. Um, I'm only eating really yogurt, waffles, and um, some bacon today. But let's see. So we have the center cut bacon. Center cut bacon is probably the best bacon ever because it's low in fat because um, it's center cut. Um, then we have some waffles. I do put a little bit of syrup on my waffles. On my pancakes, I don't put syrup. I don't know. I just don't. This is my special drink that everybody just like thinks is the most gross thing in the world. This is actually a full cup of egg whites. So this portion right from up to here is probably egg whites. And then we have a half a cup of any type of like juice, like boathouse juice or um, the naked juices, uh, anything like that. So it's egg whites basically mixed with juice. Um, and that's just to kind of get an additional protein in. I don't drink that every day, I just do it from time to time. Since this breakfast is kind of full of a lot of carbs because of the waffles and the syrup, and I'm also having a Chobani watermelon yogurt, um, I wanna get in that protein. All right guys, gotta put this stuff in my fitness pal. Yes, that's my butt on the back of my phone. Don't care. So when meal prepping my food, I don't really do the meal prep that you would imagine it to be. So I actually don't prepare necessarily my meals, but I just prepare different foods that I know I'm going to eat. So what I'm doing right now is a kind of um, home recipe that my mom used to do all the time when I was little, and I love it. I'm just cutting up a rotisserie chicken right now, and I'm making homemade chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to be soaking the chicken scraps and some celery with a little bit of chicken broth, a lot of water, and some seasonings. I'm going to to let that soak and cook and boil for about a couple hours and um, then I'm going to go back in once that broth's all done I'm going to add in the celery and chicken after. Right next to that while that boils I'm cooking up some turkey. Yeah. 
so my turkey is 99% fat free turkey, um, chopped turkey. I'm gonna add in some organic black beans to that and then also some seasoning. I like to add in some chili seasoning, um, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and that is the only thing I really meal prep. I'm going to put that all in containers. Baby, tell me my way. If you tell me you wanted to hate me, you seem so interested. So I'm just going to be measuring my turkey and beans into five different containers because there's five different servings here. Guys, if you want to see my recipes, I do log them all into MyFitnessPal, so all you have to do is friend request me on MyFitnessPal. My name is just Julia Salvia. So once that turkey is done and it's in the fridge, I'm going to fix up my soup. I'm gonna take out all the scraps, and unfortunately this all goes in the garbage, but now we have so much soup and broth, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken and celery and let that boil for a while till the celery's soft. What's up guys, it's day, I wanna say three because Shoppy was a day. And then I meal prepped yesterday, and then today isn't really gonna be a meal prep. It's kind of more like get rid of all the food or do something with it so you actually eat it. So, going to my fridge today, we have our meal prep. Here's the soup in there. I don't have a container big enough, so just keep it in the box, you know? Um, we had to like stack a little bit over here. We ha I had to move the water bottles. So um, yeah, it looks like a pretty stocked fridge for one freaking person. Today I'm gonna be going into um, my pantry and kind of making snacks for myself for work because I'm just like tired of going to work and not having something to eat. It's not good, you need to eat. So my body's so used to eating like every two to three hours and I haven't been working like this in a whoa okay whoa so my body's not used to like not eating for two to three hours so I usually do bring a snack to work but um yeah so I gotta make sure I have those snacks so I don't have to worry about making those snacks every day and I just like have them you know see do some shoulders oh my god this is heavy this is like Definitely not a five pound water bottle. It's like probably 10, 20 pounds. At least that's what it feels like. So a couple other little things that I like to do. I have an entire sleeve of garlic. I like to just chop that all up and put it in a container with olive oil in my fridge so that I can use it when I cook other things. There's a lot of things I don't like to meal prep because I have the time to cook them and that includes chicken, fish, anything like that. It's easy for me to cook so I'll just add in that garlic to give it a little bit of flavor. Once I'm done putting all that garlic away in my fridge, I'm gonna move on to some watermelon. So I don't do this with all my fruits, but definitely with melon and other things like that. I like to just cut it up into pieces and put it in a container. I like my watermelon cold. Is that weird? <laughs> but I like to eat my watermelon cold, so I'm just gonna pack that all up and put it in the fridge. The next thing that's really, really important for me and saves me so much time is I take all of my snacks and I put them together into baggies for work. So whenever I go out or go to work, and you know what, even when I'm home, it's really easy to do this because then I don't have to measure them and I don't overeat. All right guys, so after two, three days, one day of shopping and two days of meal prepping, finally done. No, this is not sweat, I'm just oily. Um, it's gonna just make my life easier for the rest of the week, um, you know, kind of portioning everything out because sometimes you get lazy and you're like, I don't feel like portioning my shit out today, so you don't and you eat too much. It's basically just gonna save me a lot of time during the week when I have um, work, shit to do, so. But thank you guys for tuning in to this really, 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 really ridiculously long video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll be sure to answer them. But I love you guys. Mwah! Bye! Uh.